Hi everyone. So I had um, some questions regarding like how I print. I actually got several questions and I've had them before in the past. And I know this is not like super techie here because I'm just not super techie. Um, so this is kind of like what you get and I'll show you what I do. So I'm just going to use an example of uh, digitals from, you know, Heather's shop uh, because I'm a de design team member there. Um, so I use these often. Um, and I'm just going to click on the folder. So this is 38 Rue Bourbon. Um, so once I have selected my image that I want to, you know, create with, um, I just, in my program, I just have to right click on it to hit the print. I'm sure there's other ways to get to it. This is just what I do. Um, you know, because every, every computer is going to have kind of like a little bit of a different, you know, work around, you know, somewhat. Um, so here's my image. Um, and this is basically, you know, what you're seeing. So this is the full page. And then you can always hit that fit to picture if you feel like it's cutting some of the words off or some of the edges or whatever. Um, I rarely use that, but sometimes I do. Um, and I'll show you a, a case right here. So say I wanted to print this. This is this image is upside down at the moment. Um, and I want it, I want like two to a page, okay? So off to the side here, I have different, you know, selections. And this is all that I have. And this is the, you know, um, this is just the program that happens to open up when I go to hit print. Um, maybe yours has like a drop down or something up here. Um, but mine's off to the side and it just shows all the different options that I have. So I'm just going to select five by seven. So I want a five by seven image, right? So here it is here but I want to put two on the page. So down below it says copies of each and I hit two. So there's the second one that pops up. So it's cutting off a little bit on the top here. So I hit this fit picture to frame. So I unhit it and you see how it brings in that, that border. So, um, but it may not matter. I mean, if you're making tags or something like that, but if you're using it for a full print page spread for like a journal or a card or something like that, you may want that border. Um, so if I hit it again, you'll see that the image gets bigger, but that's basically all you do. So let's say I want, um, I want four to a page. So I want these three and a half by five. So I just have to come down here and hit that. I want multiple copies. Now you don't have to do that. You could just print the one, but, um, more than likely I'm going to use it multiple times. And, um, I love just utilizing the whole page. Um, so I just, you know, print off four to a page, but you don't have to do that. If you want to save on ink for whatever reason, I belong to a subscription service. So, uh, I'm charged per print. Um, so I might as well maximize it. So that's why I, you know, love all these different sizes and I just print them all. So if I want, and I, you can also do the fit to the, uh, fit the picture. So obviously your whole entire image is going to become smaller. Um, but then you get more of it in there if you hit the fit to fit picture to frame. Now say I want wallet. This even makes it smaller. So this is what I would have done uh, when I like created my charms uh, because these are really super tiny. They're wallet size. Um, so you have to, you know, hit that you want nine copies of each. So that's not going to print out nine. That's just putting nine onto the page. Um, and then I hit print and then it prints the whole page out. Um, so that's basically how I do it. And you again, you can hit that fit picture to frame. If you want more of the image, it'll make them a little bit smaller. So if you want your charm like smaller or you want something smaller, then that's just what you do. So I kind of hope that that, you know, helps you. Um, but that's basically, you know, you just have to find out where your different sizes are. Um, if your program pops up like this to show all these different images or if it's, you know, up here in a drop down box somehow. So anyway, feel free to ask me questions. I know this is not high tech. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm sure there's videos out there that are. Um, that's just not my thing. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.